By now, everyone knows what a Hearthstone mini set is. A collection of 38 cards released between each expansion. But did you know that Hearthstone mini sets didn't always exist? The first mini set was released after the expansion Madness at the Dark Moon Fair, but before that, there were none. This is the second episode of a new series where I go back to each older expansion and imagine what their mini sets could look like. In this episode, we'll be delving into Hearthstone's second expansion, the Grand Tournament. This mini set takes place at the tournament's conclusion. All the champions have been selected for an elite task force that is going to attack Ice Crown Citadel and put an end to the Scourge. The name of this task force is... The Ashen Verdict. I've made many new cards for this project, but before we look at those, I want to quickly explain my rules for this. The idea is that the Ashen Verdict mini set would be released in standard today, so I've made cards for all 11 classes using modern keywords. If this mini set was actually released to Hearthstone, I imagine the Grand Tournament main set would also be re-released to standard alongside it, possibly with some balance changes, but that's not what this video is. This video is just the cards for the mini set itself, so let's dive into those. The Grand Tournament introduced a new keyword, Inspire, which is a bonus that triggers every time you use your hero power. The Ashen Verdict mini set would of course also introduce more cards that feature this keyword. Interestingly, every class got an Inspire card in the main set except for Rogue. At first glance that kinda makes sense, because Rogues can't really use their hero power as freely as other classes, but Blizzard did release this card in the main set, which allows you to use your hero power each turn, so I decided to give Rogue an Inspire card in the mini set. One of the mini set's legendaries also features the Inspire keyword. Darion the Ashen. Our destiny is at hand! Darion is one of the two leaders of the Ashen Verdict and is available for Death Knight. Darion is a 3 mana 3 3 undead with a blood and unholy rune. He also has Charge and an Inspire effect that will cause all your undead minions to gain plus 2 attack and lifesteal until the next turn. This would include not only himself and any other undead you have on the board, but also the frail ghoul summoned from your hero power. The Ashen Verdict mini set would also feature a payoff to the Inspire mechanic. Alchemist Fingelstein. I can't wait to deploy this improved formula. Fingelstein is a 5 mana 4 4 undead that will repeat all Inspire effects you've triggered this game. This means all those bonuses your Inspire cards got, he will gain too. Interestingly, Fingelstein can be used alongside the card Coliseum Manager from the main set for infinite value a la the Shutterwalk decks of old. But similarly to Shutterwalk, Fingelstein's effects are gonna repeat in a random order, so he might return himself to hand immediately and waste 5 mana. Something you will often find in modern Hearthstone minisets are side mechanics, such as the packs from the Whispanks Workshop miniset, the Chaotic Tendrils from Titans, or the Remix cards from the Festival miniset. I've tried implementing a similar side mechanic in this miniset. Recently, the Ashen Verdict Runesmiths have learned to forge Serenite which will be the theme for this side mechanic. Since hero powers are such a central part of the grand tournament, this side mechanic would center around this. Specifically, these new Serenite cards would allow you to swap your hero power and then swap back after two uses. I also made this neutral Serenite card, which will upgrade your hero power for two uses. Then there's this neutral minion, which will refresh your hero power. Aside from its focus on hero powers and the Inspire mechanic, the Grand Tournament also introduced another new mechanic called Jousting. Cards using this mechanic would reveal a minion from each deck, and if yours costs more, they would trigger a bonus. Not that many classes received a Joust card, so the Ashen Verdict miniset would also expand on this mechanic by giving more classes Jousting cards. The miniset would also be a perfect opportunity to release new cards with a different spin on the Joust mechanic. Like these new cards for a Murloc Warlock deck that would trigger the bonus if your revealed card costs less than your opponent's. Or maybe the new cards could reveal minions but not trigger a bonus, like Mounted Berserker for Warrior. This minion will reveal a minion in each deck and force them to fight. This means the two minions will deal their attack damage to each other, and if any die, they will be destroyed. 
A similar card could be this legendary for Paladin. Light have mercy on us. Almost the Penitent is a 2 mana 2 3 legendary minion that will reveal a minion in each stick and then set the attack and health of your opponent's minion to 1 and give the stats it lost to your minion. The minions will then return to deck, so you have to draw yours to utilize your buff stats, but it also means your opponent will eventually draw a 1 1. To support all these new Joust cards, I also made this neutral card. Tournament Cheat is a 1 mana 2 2 minion that will cause the next minion revealed from your deck to be your highest cost minion. All of these cards might not seem that strong on their own, but they are supported by the last card of this video. The Minizet's final legendary is the other leader of the Ashen Verdict, Tyrion Grand Crusader. Champions, attack! Tyrion is an 8 mana 6 6 neutral legendary minion with Taunt and Divine Shield. When you play Tyrion, he will summon all minions that were revealed from your deck, whether they are still in deck or you've drawn them. Your results will vary depending on your luck in the jousts, but with the proper support, you can guarantee some great results. That was all for my Ashen Verdict mini set. Was this a proper continuation of the Grand Tournament? Let me know in the comments. And consider subscribing for more custom Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.